Okay, now we're back and it's time to throw our right wings. <laughs> okay. What do you want to do? I don't know. All right. Okay, now we're back and it's time to throw our wings into the, the, the thing. The thing and the other thing. <sighs> okay, now we're back and it's time to throw our wings into the deep frying thing. <laughs> oil. Come on. See, it's oil. Uh. I'm in beautiful Cancun this week, and because of that, I couldn't be bothered to film with Dad. But I'm going to leave you in his very capable hands. So without further ado, say hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. So you'd think on the week that the show was all my own, I wouldn't have to do the hi, Dad bit. Hi, everybody. Today we're going to do Dad's Korean-style buffalo wings. Emma's not here with all the highfalutin mumbo-jumbo that she brings from culinary school. It's just Dad in a loud shirt, all right? So what you want to do to get started is get about three pounds of wings. And I've got a pound and a half right here. I've got another pound and a half in the strainer down here. We're going to bring those in in just a second. And I'm just going to... I've already rinsed these off. Very important to rinse everything. I'm going to put these into my tossing bowl here in a minute. And I'm not going to measure this out, but about, I don't know, a half a cup of potato starch. Now, you can use corn starch if you want to. It'll work just fine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the wings off to one side, and I'm going to pour enough of this in here, because what we're going to do is we're going to roll the uh, chicken into the potato starch, and we're going to put a breading on it. You don't have to do anything else to the wings. And you can see here, you know, I've got, it's thoroughly covered, right? And I'm just going to put that one aside and put another one in. And we're just going to repeat this process over and over again until all of the chicken wings are covered in the potato starch. Now, the, the key with all of this is preparing the, the sauce. And we're going to get to that here in a little bit. Right now, we're just going to prepare the oil. And the oil is overheating uh, right now. We're going to bring that in in a minute. And one of the things I want to say about oil is don't overheat the oil. Um, you want to get it to a temperature where when you throw the chicken in, it bubbles a little bit, but it, it doesn't bubble so hard that it's bubbling over. That's a little too hot. And then you're going to cook your chicken wings in two batches. And the key with this recipe is double frying, okay? Double frying is what makes your wings really, really awesome. So double frying means you're going to cook the first batch of wings, this first pound and a half, for about eight minutes. You're going to take them out of the grease, put them aside for a minute or two, and then put them right back in. No pomp and circumstance. Don't have to do anything else to them. You're just going to put them back in. The second time, you're going to cook them for 10 to 12 minutes, right? Make sure that they're thoroughly cooked. You don't want to undercook chicken. Same thing with your cutting board when you're uh, cutting up your chicken wings. Now, these were already pre-prepared uh, from the store, and you can buy them that way because I'm lazy, and so why do I want to do any extra work? You can get them that way, but if you don't get them that way and you got to cut them up, make sure you do it on a plastic uh, cutting board or a glass cutting board. Don't do it on a wooden cutting board. Why? Because it's meat, all right? And you're going to get into all sorts of health and safety issues. And then you got to clean constantly, all right? Wash your hands, wash the bowl, wash this bowl. Make sure you don't double dip into anything that you're using. So this one is all prepared. And you can see here that, you know, I'll show you this. These are really nicely done. And uh, if you want to, coat them again, you can do that, but make sure every surface is covered on them, and now you're ready to go into the oil. So let's do that. Let's go over to the oil next and get these babies cooking before we prepare the sauce. Eventually. Hi, okay, now we're back and it's time to throw our wings into the hot oil. And I've been preparing this hot oil over on another stove. We're going to take it back over there after we get done, but I wanted to show you what it looks like. So what we're going to do is take these things that we've battered, and I'm just going to gently lay them in there. Now I want you to notice how much oil I used. And you can use a vegetable oil, you can use a peanut oil, you can use a canola oil. Uh, yeah, those are good oils to, uh, to use, right? And I'm gonna lay it in there, and it's, it's probably boiling a little bit more vigorously than I, I wanted. I put about an inch and a half of oil in here. I wouldn't put much more than I put in, because we don't want to drown the wings. Uh, you can get away with a little bit less than, than what I put in, but it's hard to judge, right? So now we'll get them all in there. What I'm going to do is turn the temperature down just slightly on those so we don't overboil them. And now the next thing we want to do is we want to set a timer for eight minutes. So how do we do that? All right, here's the easiest way to do it. Hey Siri, set a timer for eight minutes. 
All right, now your phone's working for you. She's gonna go off in about eight minutes. During that eight minutes, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna rotate what's in here a time or two because I wanna get them uh, thoroughly done. All right, that one needs a little bit more. There we go, and now we just wait. All right, everybody, the, the timer just went off. It's been eight minutes. You can see that the wings are cooking. They're not completely cooked. I've tossed them a couple of times. It's now time to take them out. And let me get something first. This is a key so you don't get into trouble with the misses. Little paper towel underneath a strainer. Now watch how this works. I'm gonna begin to, and I'm not taking them off the heat. The heat's still on, but I'm gonna put my wings in this strainer. And now the oil is just going to drip into that paper towel. All right, so we're kind of straining them just a little bit. That's okay. Now what we're going to do after we get the wings out is we're just going to give it 60 seconds. We're going to stir the oil. All right, all my wings are out. I'm just going to stop and stir the oil for a second, get all the sediment out of there. All right, give it a potato or two while the, the wings drip off a little bit. And now we're gonna cook them for 12 minutes the second time, 10 to 12 minutes. You have to judge based on the size of the wing, the bigger the wing, the longer they're gonna cook. The key is you wanna make sure that they're cooked all the way through. Okay, this is good. Now, I've got them in the strainer and I've got a handle on the strainer. I'm gonna gently slip them back into the oil. Be careful not to splash or you'll regret it. All right, now we're just gonna lay them out. Hey Siri, start the timer for 12 minutes. Okay, 12 minutes, I'm counting. Now we're ready for a set change and to make the sauce. All right, now that's better. Now it's time to prepare the sauce. By far the most popular sauce for wings is buffalo sauce. Hey, hey, hey! Who's that? Buffalo sauce is the most 90s thing you have ever suggested. What's wrong with the 90s? Well, that shirt for starters. Well, who makes you such an expert? I'm the boss. The sauce boss, that is. Uh-huh. Move along now. It's time for me to take over. So, nothing says 1993 like buffalo sauce, all right? Everybody did buffalo sauce. If you went to a gas station, you got wings with buffalo sauce. You got nachos, you got buffalo sauce on your nachos. You could put wings on top of nachos with buffalo sauce. I'm like up to here with buffalo sauce. I don't want to hear another word about buffalo sauce. They should get rid of the city of Buffalo and get rid of buffalo sauce altogether. You understand me? I think you feel my pain. All right, now it's time for me to take over from that palooka. One of the things that M has done for the show is she's absolutely created a monster, the sauce boss monster. And I'm here to tell you, this is gonna be the best sauce. Now, let's forget about buffalo sauce. Buffalo sauce is so 1993, it's completely overdone. I like kind of a sweet Thai chili sauce, or in this case, I'm gonna call it a Korean sauce. I like something with a little sweet and a little hot to it as well. So now the recipe goes like this. We're gonna start with oil in our pan and I'm gonna turn the heat on because we're gonna boil this. We're gonna boil it down. We're just gonna warm it up. We're gonna put two tablespoons of oil in. Tablespoon number one, it doesn't have to be exact. All right, tablespoon number two. Don't put too much oil in. It makes it just kind of, I don't know, disgusting if you put too much oil in. Next is we're gonna put in a half a cup of corn syrup. All right, so I got my half a cup measuring. You, you don't wanna put more than this in. Uh, you don't want to put less. This is the one you want to measure out a half a cup. And the other thing is it gets kind of gloppy in your cup. So you got to kind of take a second, maybe take another spoon and kind of get it all out of there. All right. Right now it looks a little pedestrian in the pan. So we want to put some stuff in here that's going to make it look nice. Now, a uh, quarter cup of soy sauce. And I got my quarter cup measure. Again, this is the sort of thing that you can, uh, you know, Measure out if you like, or just kind of get close to it. This is where a little of your sweet and a little of your sour um, come together. Tablespoon of vinegar. I'm not even gonna measure this. I'm just gonna pour a little, yeah, about that much in, all right? Next is, and this is where you make it to your taste. 
Um, you can put in hot sauce the way you like it. This is a little sriracha sauce and I kind of like this stuff because uh, I like my stuff just a little bit hotter. And I'm gonna put in a tablespoon or two. If you like it really hot, put in a couple of tablespoons. If you don't like it as hot, you can skip the sriracha sauce altogether. Now I've cut up earlier, I cut up some red peppers. I cut up uh, what we call a Mad Hatter pepper. Uh, you can do uh, jalapenos, you can do habaneros. It just depends on the heat uh, index that you want for this, or you can skip the peppers altogether. It's completely up to you. I'm gonna put in another glop. This is probably four, um, uh, four garlic cloves. I'm just gonna do the pre-cut stuff here. Uh, again, that's uh, all to taste. And finally, we're gonna put just a little bit of mustard in here, and I'm gonna grab another spoon here. And this is uh, like Chinese hot mustard, so I like to, you know, turn the heat up a little bit. Now, one of the things that I have here, there's two things at the end. This is brown sugar. I'm gonna pour, pour that in as everything gets heated up. It makes the, your sauce cling a little bit better and it gives it kind of a glossy look. And the other thing is peanuts. Now, if you got a peanut allergy, skip this all together. But I love the peanut part. It really kind of finishes off your uh, wings in a way that is uh, unique and, and really tasty. People are gonna comment about the, the peanuts. They, they like the peanuts. So again, as much as you like here. Now, what we're gonna do is make sure we get this all kind of warmed up. We're gonna mix it all together here. And while our wings are finishing their last 10 to 12 minute cook, we're gonna warm this stuff up and get it to a little bit of a boil, make sure it's mixed thoroughly, and then it's time to put it all together and enjoy our creation. See you in a minute. So let's give it a try. Oh, that's perfect. This sauce is the boss. Hey, loser in the flower shirt, you wanna do a knock-knock joke? No? Knock-knock. Who's there? Hey, I'm the boss, I don't do knock-knock jokes. What kind of fool do you take me for anyway? <sighs> All right, now that we've done the sauce correctly, let's bring the loser back. Well, you all know that no man should eat alone, so I've invited the fair and lovely Mrs. Scheibner to come down and join me for these wonderful hot wings. All right, all right. let's do it. Yeah. I get blue cheese. You, and I got <laughs> ranch, right? That's the difference between the two of us. Mm. Oh my. Mm. Mm. You know, you can be my wing man anytime. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. They're um, crispy and hot. They and are. they're not and they're not too spicy hot. They're just still warm, which is really great and fresh. I like the peanuts. That's mm. my favorite part. Yeah. I always know. Mm. I love this. One of the things, guys, you can tell if you're looking for that special somebody out there to marry, fix her some wings. If she picks them <laughs> up with both hands and gets her face dirty, put a ring on that finger. Oh, and you did. I did 36 <laughs> years ago, and it's still working out great. All right. I'm so glad you've been with us for this episode. Next time we'll have Emma back with us. This has been Dad's Korean Style Wings. Mm. So, we're out of time. Make sure you like and subscribe. And if you have something you want to see Dad, or even Emma cook, let us know. Till next time, say goodbye, Dad. Women, all the same. Goodbye, Dad. Well, this week was fun, but I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to Em being back. Don't tell her.